Welcome to a special edition of the Rick Castellano Show. Did I say special edition? <laughs> Do I need an excuse to drink a little diet ginger ale? Of course not. Excuse me a second. Scrumply umptious. Just good stuff. Anyway, holiday season just passed us by. Doesn't mean Castellano's ready to slow down. Of course, you know I was quite busy, and I needed a stand-in. I needed somebody to help me out. Who could I get? Let's see. Stallone was busy making Expendables too. He was out. Uh, Redford's too old. What am I going to get? Next best thing, Dancing Bear. <laughs> of course, he retired 20 years ago, so I got the last best thing. John Cerami filled in for me, and John Cerami is at Kyokushin Karate over at Ridge Road West and Dewey Avenue upstairs. Folks, this is the best of the best. You're going to see boards being broke, baseball bats being splintered, Bricks, concrete blocks, and you're gonna see the no. You're not gonna see the producer. We don't want to see anything in bed. Everything you're gonna see the best of the best here at Kyokushin Karate. This is Johnny C. Years back in demand. We're at Kyokushin Karate. Yeah, tonight uh, we've got a fantastic show for you. We're gonna show you a little bit about what's called the art of Thomas Warrior breaking. And we have multiple breaks going on this evening, uh, some crazy stuff. We're going to have guys shattering baseball bats with their hands and their feet and break some bricks. And we're going to see some excitement here. Uh, we're going to do some, uh, again, we're going to see these, these baseball bats, which are incredible, Louisville Sluggers, you know, the old home run hit. And uh, pretty excited about the whole thing this evening. Folks, and this next young lady, I don't know, about 4 foot 11, 85 pounds tops. You can see her spin around in circles kicking these boards. Well, <laughs> she used to be an NBA cheerleader. <laughs> could you imagine the kind of stuff she could do? <laughs> she could clear a whole bench off and the floor of the NBA game. Watch. In this next clip is she destroys all comers. I'm here with Corey. All right. Now that the bat's gone, what are we going to be doing tonight? Uh, tonight we're going to be doing a little bit of breaking. Um, I'm going to be doing a, a front kick, a uh, side kick, and a roundhouse kick. Wow. You've heard it, folks. Yeah. Corey, that was amazing. Good job. Thank you. Folks, if you need a bodyguard, you could reach Corey at... The number is... 663-7680. Now, folks, uh, you can see in this next clip, this is why this man will never make co-host. <laughs> He's gonna, always going to be a bit player. As you can see, Kyokushin Karate Instructor giving John instructions how to hold the board. Explicit instructions, but of course, Dancing Bear isn't paying attention. As you see in his next clip, watch what happens. If the producer knows what he's doing, he can put it in slow motion. If not, you'll still see the stumble bum off, not pay attention. Watch this next clip, and you'll be surprised. No, you won't be surprised. Judging by the way this guy looks, you could expect it. And tonight I am here with uh, Lee Houghton. Lee Houghton, please tell us what you're going to be doing this evening. Tonight, I'm going to be doing some uh, uh, wood breaks with hands and some jump kicks and some pretty phenomenal aer aerial dynamic stuff. Pretty cool stuff. Uh, I've been doing martial arts for not too long, 37, 38 years. <laughs> Just a little bit. Yeah, sorry. No, not my first dance. I've been around the block once, twice, maybe eight times. <laughs> You know what? You know, we, we'd be the first ones to try to help you out. You know, um, contrary to popular belief, we're a great group of guys. Our first thing is to help people out. This is just, as, as uh, Sensei Todd said, um, this is just an opportunity for us to demonstrate the power that we've developed over the many years or the short years in our lifespan. And it's a, it's a great outlet for everybody to do. You'll see young, old, everybody of every dimension uh, doing what we do. It's great stuff. 
and you support these with your palm of your hands. And just keep it locked the wrist, lock your elbows, and then he'll go right through. Okay, sounds good. And keep your face, turn your face this way, this way, this way. But boy, when he breaks it, hold on so it doesn't let go. Hold on to it. Go ahead, John. Are you left-handed or right-handed? Right. Lee, go ahead, Lee. I'm Jen, and you're watching the Rick Castellano Show. We'll be right back. Mr. Obama, this is some nice ride you have. It's a dog trail, I have to go electric. <laughs> go electric? Just like you believe an American flag you got behind you? I don't think so. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Rick Castellano Show, Barack Hussein Obama, and... Go electric now. And now back to the Rick Castellano Show. Well, folks, this is the board that I was actually man enough to hold. That was incredible, Lee. You know what, John? I want to I want to thank you for being man enough to hold this. Uh, you know, it was awesome. You know, very few people without uh, practice would want to do that, and you stepped right up. I appreciate it. Thank you. All right, you've heard it, folks. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> folks, this next gentleman is going to break eight. No, 10 concrete slabs. And this isn't the stuff that you see over there, the drywall. This is real concrete slabs. How does Castellano know? <laughs> because I hurt my hand trying, just trying to feel what it felt like. And believe me, this is no stunt. This is no gimmick. These are real concrete slabs. So when these things hit the floor, folks, <laughs> I just put it this way. <laughs> this guy's one of my best friends. Take it away. Whatever you want to do. Yeah. What you have just seen, folks, is a 10 2 inch cement block broken in half with the elbow strike, and it's called a power break in competition. So, Sensei, tell me about how, what you feel. How, how'd, how'd you get ready for this, and what'd you feel when you did the break? Oh, it's, it, it's just you get yourself worked up, and it's just all the adrenaline, and just drive everything right through, and it's just a rush when it, everything breaks, and it all works out the way it's supposed to, and you don't break any bones. It's always a good thing. Is this but, the most you ever broke before, Sensei? 
No, I've broken 17 before. 17 bricks. Us. Oh, my God. Yeah. That's, That's crazy. The stack gets a little high. I'm back again with Nikki. Then I'm looking at this arm patch, IFK. Can you please explain that to us and the folks at home? IFK is the International Federation of Karate. We belong to a worldwide organization. Um, it comes from Kyokushin. Kyokushin was um, founded by Masayama, and um, IFK is derived from that. Hanchi Steve Arneal is the president of the um, International Federation of Karate, and we're the United States branch. Sensei Nikki Matais, explain what you're going to be doing this evening. I am going to be doing a stomp kick um, with the blocks over there. Um, when um, we do uh, a lot of our breaking, sometimes um, if we have an upper body injury and we still want to show off our talents, we'll show off our lower body, body talents by doing a, a stomp kick. And people may think it's a real easy technique to do, but um, uh, it's, it's pretty difficult, especially if you don't make the break. Tell me when you're going to start. I'm here with Nikki Matice, and how long have you been breaking? About 10 years. Now, does that hurt? Only when you don't break them. Unbelievable. <laughs> In this next clip, folks, these two gentlemen are going to break real Louisville sluggers. How real? Well, as real and as strong as you get, one of them is a signed autograph bat by Barry Bonds. <laughs> and you can tell the way he's splitting the bat, it's worth nothing. But... It's a real bat, nonetheless, hard. <laughs> you don't want to try this at home, folks. Like one, you're going to see one man bust it with his hand, and another man bust it with his leg. Take it away. We're back at Kyo Kyokushin Karate, and uh, David is going to break a Louisville Slugger baseball bat. With his foot? <laughs> with his foot. Dave, whatever you want to do, it's there. Come on, Dave. Big run. Big run. Shoot! This is crazy stuff, folks, and I ended up with a little piece of the bat. And I'm here with David. David, that was amazing. Very good, sir. Thank you. And uh, how long have you been doing the karate here? Uh, about 32 years. I started when I was seven. So tell me a little more about your students and the competitions and other accomplishments that they have achieved here. Well, actually, you saw Dave uh, break uh, one baseball bat, but uh, there's a number of students, senior students that are in my club that actually have done two or three baseball bats all at one time. So it takes about 1,600 pounds of pressure when they've done a, a, a statics test and, t and study to understand the power that's necessary to break a baseball bat. So imagine he has to be able to get his kick up to that speed with that technique to equivalent that weight of 1,600 pounds of constant pressure to snap that uh, bat in half. So pretty crazy, pretty incredible. You've heard it here, folks. Just another baseball bat here. No big deal. Yeah, but, man, let me tell you, it takes about 1,600 pounds of, of weight or pounds of pressure based on a law of physics to break through this bat. Again, we do no fixes, no alterations to this material, and they really can get hurt seriously when they don't break the material. So... Uh, it's pretty tough. be doing today sir I'm gonna be hitting these boards with a ridge hand which is the top part of your hand right here and unlike the speed one we did before one we're gonna do a power one try to go through all four boards at the same time and if you notice a little drawing over here that my son drew a long time ago and I started breaking and he called it a little karate dude so since I've been breaking and every national competition I've been in I drew the little karate dude on everything that I broke even over here that's my aiming device, so where to hit it, and my son's with me all the time for that. Now, after you break the boards, what's going on over here? 
I'm going to come right over here to these bricks and I'm going to do a knife hand right down on the bricks right in the middle and hopefully go through all those bricks and hopefully break them all without breaking my, my hand too bad. Okay. I like noise, guys. Come on. <laughs> Show. Folks, The Rock's got the corporate elbow. Look at his, the double elbow. Folks, I would never attempt to try this with my elbows. I'm funny, but not my funny bone. But my friend here, Todd, is going to be breaking it with his elbows. Look, hey, just like you're making muscles. You're standing right where you were, coming down both sides, same time. Right in the middle. So if you all like what you see this evening, we're here at Kyokushin Karate USA, 482 West Ridge Road. Our number is 663-7680. Come out and give it a try. I'm Sean Mike Monaco. Owner of the Karate School. Yeah! yeah! Ladies and gentlemen, because you demanded it, one of my best pals, JJ, the Broad Street Casanova. Excuse me, sir. You're looking mighty handsome today. Mm -hmm. Can I see the handsome look? And what TV show are you watching? I'm watching Rick Cardinale School. But don't touch that doll, we right. Folks, thank you for watching a special edition of the Rick Castellano Show. And if you have any ideas of where you'd like to see Rick Castellano come, write in, call in, email us, I don't know, horseback, camel, get us the message of what you'd like to see or hear on the show. And if Rick Castellano uses your idea, we'll send you a free T-shirt. Also, <laughs> I'm running on empty, so I got to go. See you next week, folks.